Hi guys, I'm Stacy with Handmade by Stacy J. We're on our third video for the Learn to Knit series. We've got three more to go, minimum, but there will probably be a little bit more. Like each time I do one, I'm getting more ideas. So for this week, we're going to take those knits and pearls and we're going to create the basket weave. So this is a lovely dishcloth. I use 100% cotton and it's just really fun to put together. This is one that has just super simple repeats and you'll be able to have this off your needles in no time. It works in increments of 10 stitches. So if you wanna make it super wide, you can make a beautiful blanket with it. If you wanna just continue with the repeats, you can make it long and make a beautiful scarf out of it. It's just, it's a very common stitch. It's a very fun stitch and it's very easy. It's great for when you're learning. So let's grab your needles, grab your yarn, and let's get started. To begin our basket weave dishcloth, we're gonna need just a few basic knitting items. We're gonna first need our knitting needles. These are a size seven, 4.5 millimeter. We're gonna need a pair of scissors. Optional are two stitch markers. You're gonna need a tapestry needle for weaving in your ends, and you're gonna need yarn. What I'm using is 100% cotton from Peaches and Cream, and it's a medium weight number four. Let's get started. The first step is that we're going to cast on 46 stitches. And I prefer to use the long tail cast on method. So I'm going to cast on 46 stitches. Now that you've completed the cast on, the next step is to knit. And you're going to knit two rows and I will meet you at the end of that second row and then we can begin our pattern repeat. Now we're ready to begin our pattern repeat. For this stitch, it's very simple. Our first row is to simply knit. So we'll knit this first row and I will meet you at the beginning of our second row so that we can begin some knitting and some purling. We're ready to begin row two, and row two is very simple. If you are choosing to use stitch markers, now would be your best time to grab them because we're gonna start by knitting three. And after we knit those three, we're going to insert our stitch markers. So I'm gonna grab one, put that on, and now we're gonna begin our pattern repeat. Now this repeat works in a total of 10 stitches. So each repeat will work over 10. So we're going to knit five. And then we're going to purl five. And that is all we will do across, is knit five, purl five. Whoops. And now, purl five. And you will continue doing the knit five, purl five across your piece until only three stitches remain. At those three stitches, you'll insert your stitch marker and then you'll knit three. So I'll just meet you at the end of this row so I can show you and then we'll move on to the next rows. Coming up to the end of my last purling segment. And now I have three left. So this is where I'm gonna put in my stitch marker because this, whoops, because this is going to indicate where my garter stitch border is, because these last three and the first three, you will always knit. One, two, three. Now for the next, well, four rows, you're going to do that exact same thing that you just did. So you're going to knit three, One, two, 
three, slip that marker, then you're going to knit five and purl five. So you're going to continue the repeat with knit five, purl five across this row, and you will end with a knit three on those last three stitches. Then you'll continue this repeat for rows four, five, and six. So you'll do it three more times after this row, and I will meet you at the end. I finished my last row repeat, and this is what it looks like. So now we're going to simply knit across, and then we're going to start the staggering to where these that look like the stockinette stitch that's flat are going to move up here. And these reverse stockinette stitches are going to move up here. So for this next row, all you're going to do is just knit across. And after you have knitted across this entire row, I will meet you for the beginning of the next segment. Now we're ready to begin rows 8 through 12. And it's the same as this first round was, where I'm going to show you the repeat, and then you're going to do it for four more rows. So we'll start off with a knit 3. And we're going to slip that marker, and our pattern repeat over the next 10 stitches goes with a purl 5, knit 5. One, purl two, purl three, purl four, purl five, and now we're going to knit five. Knit one, knit two, knit three, knit four, knit five. Then we begin the repeat again with a purl five. And then we're going to knit five. And I'm going to continue this repeat until I get to the end of the row in which I'm going to slip my marker and knit three. And then I'm going to do this for four more rows. And I will meet you at the end of that repeat. So I've completed my repeat from rows 8 through 12, and this is what it looks like. You can see how it's starting to look as if it's weaving, and this is when it starts getting exciting to me, because I like when you can start seeing the pattern form. So from here, you're going to repeat rows 1 through 12 three more times, and I will meet you at the end of that third repeat. I've repeated rows 1 through 12 three more times to get this pattern going. Look at how nice it looks. It's got a wonderful texture to it. And when you flip it over, the back side has a little bit more of a ridge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to knit the next two rows. So just knit across for two rows. Go ahead and slip your markers and I will meet you at the end of that second row so that we can begin the bind off. I've completed those two knit rows and now we're ready to do the bind off. So we're gonna bind this off knit wise. And we're gonna do that by knitting these first two stitches. And I only keep showing this in the video for this series because when I was first learning, it took me a few times of doing it before I could remember. So I'm just teaching you the way that I learned so now that we have these two stitches on here, we're going to take this first one and we're going to slip it over. There's your first one. Then you're going to knit the next stitch. Slip that over. Knit and slip. Knit and slip. Just continue doing this and I will meet you at the very end. Alrighty, I finished my bind off. We are all done. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel or give me a thumbs up. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you soon.